All right, let's take a quick look at what's inside of this thing. It is not meant to be taken apart and put back together. For example, this little trim ring here was glued on. So first, let's go ahead and take a look at this three quarter of an inch tweeter. And so you can kind of see the back there. Not a ton of magnet. While we're here, let's also take a look at this port. So it is flared on both ends. It does have a significant amount of this stuffing in here. Another thing that's interesting is if you look inside here, there is some internal bracing. So that's nice to see on such an affordable speaker. The grill is made out of wood. Here is the five and a quarter inch mid base driver and it has a pretty nice size magnet back here. So it looks like a stamped basket and there is no vented pull piece here. The cone looks to be made out of polypropylene, a rubber surround, the wire that they used and they did apply some foam here. The crossover is actually mounted to the back of this terminal. So here is the crossover components, inexpensive materials. So there it is and I would expect something similar from the other configurations.